Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. Today we are going to study literary theories. Uh, the brief uh, introduction of theories which we uh, use in the interpretation and uh, criticism of uh, literary work. The basic concept of classical theory was given by Socrates, Plato and Aristotle. Socrates believed that uh, um, he aimed to achieve summon unborn and highest good in the pursuit of knowledge and methods of mimesis or imitation. Plato believed in the concepts of mysticism, abstract concepts are real entities and he believed that all arts are imitation of ideas, mimesis of uh, ideas and mimesis of ideas. The Aristotle's concepts of science not only dream but poetry is also imitation, ideas of pity and fear equal to catharsis. He also gave the unity of action, place and time. Uh, the concept of mimesis and argues uh, that art and therefore literature can only imitate the physical world and the physical world itself is but an imitation of the world of ideas. Aristotle's theory believed that uh, uh, believed on catharsis, it refers to purgation, purification, clarification or structural kind of emotional cleansing. Aristotle's views of catharsis involve, involves purga, uh, purging of negative emotions like pity and fear. The medieval theory focuses on interpreting biblical texts and correlating theme with the, correlating them with the theological systems devised in patristic time and late antiquities. Early medieval literature, literate culture dominated by Christian monks and clerics was focused on interpreting biblical texts and correlating them with the theological systems devised in patristic times and late antiquities. The Renaissance and the Neoclassical theory refers to the rebirth or rediscovery of the values, ethics, and styles of classical Greece and Romance. Renaissance literary gets some took root in the defense of poetry and dialogue on language and literary imitations in Italy in 14th and 15th century and achieved independence in 16th century, where the recovery of Astrotis poetics occasioned a series of commentaries that extended to the elaboration of comprehensive theories of poetry. Uh, romanticism is a reaction towards the advance in science and technology and later society and later society and economy. Seen in the 18th century, these advances were seen as degenerating people into rigid structures of society and nature into mere commodities. Thus, the rational world in the romantic point of view was artificial, devoid of consideration of nature and human emotions. Uh, a Marxist interpretation reads uh, the text uh, as an impression of contemporary class struggle and uh, materialism. This idea was given by Karl Marx, a German uh, philosopher and economist. Um, Marxist criticism focuses on class struggle, especially on the oppression of the proletariat by the burgesses. A Marx countries in human history as a series of struggle between class, between the oppressed and the oppressing one. Psychoanalysis theory was given by Sigmund Freud. He developed the psychoanalytical theory of personality development, which argued that the personality is formed through conflict among three fundamental structures of human mind, including id, ego, and superego, where ego where id operates according to the pleasure principle, ego operates according to the reality principle, and the superego interrealizes society's rules and uh, values. It is unconscious level of operation, ego is a conscious and pre-conscious level of operation and the superego is a pre-conscious level of operation, uses ideas and morals of present ideal versions of self to the world. Um, formalism in literary theory, formalism refer, refers to critical approaches and analyze, interpret, or evaluate the inherent features of a text. These features include grammar, syntax, and literary devices such as meter and figures of speech. Mostly, this theory is used under the study of uh, linguistic studies. <clears throat> Russian formalism. The school of Russian criticism from 1910s to 1930s, Russian formalism is the European counterpart of Anglo-American New Criticism. 
It focuses on language and study linguistic devices in order to get maximum meaning of the text. As text not includes one meaning but it includes number of meanings and it depends on the uh, reader as well that how many meanings can be interpreted from the text. Structuralism was given by Fernand T. Saussure. Understanding or analysis of structures such as the culture, the history, genre, etc. The theory of structuralism is based on a system of ideas used in the study that emphasizes the importance of the basic structure and relationship of that particular subject. It is uh, primarily concerned with the understanding how language works as a system of meaning production. According to Desaussure, every language has different science and science gives us the meaning to the text. Semiotic is a theory of science. Uh, literary semiotic can be seen as a branch of the general science um, general science of science that studies a particular group of texts within a verbal text in general. Uh, De Saussure emphasizes that the sign require acquire meaning within linguistic systems through relation of difference. Post-structuralism, a philosophical moment of 20th century, emerged in France and coined in the 1960s and body of different responses to structuralism. It focuses mainly on language as a system in constant change. Closely related to readers' response criticism and deconstructive criticism. Structuralism and post-structuralism, the theory, uh, structuralism is a literary theory, while post-structuralism is a response to structuralism. Structuralism Research is the search for deep structures that are universal to all cultures while post structuralism gives us a meaning in a text is uncertain and unreliable. Structuralism determines how text produce. Post structuralism is a concept without an audience, a text has no meaning. Structuralism is constructive while post structuralism is deconstructive. The deconstruction uh, is uh, closely related to the work of Jax Derrida. He gave the methods of binary op oppositions. Derrida's approach cons uh, consisted of conducting readings of text with an ear to what runs counter to the intended meaning of a structural unity of a particular text. Once a text is written, it is ceased to have a meaning until a reader reads it. There is no solid meaning of a text, there is no possibility of absolute truth. Modernism, um, according to M. H. Abrams, modernism is used to identify new and distinctive features in the subject of forms, concepts and styles of literature and other arts in the early decades of the present century. The late 20th century style and concepts in arts, architecture, and criticism, which respond, represents a departure from modernism and is characterized by self conscious use of earlier styles and conventions, a mixture of uh, different artistic styles and media, and a general distrust of uh, theories, is the theory of uh, postmodernism. New criticism was introduced. Uh, by John Crown Ransom in America in the early 20th century. It came out of formalism movement. Uh, New Criticism emphasizes close reading, particularly of poetry, to discover how a work of literature functioned as a self content self reflectional aesthetic object. New criticism was a formalist movement. Uh, it emphasizes of close reading, self referential. It shows an alternative form of literary analysis, uh, with most generally focuses on the history of author, the relation relation of words used or to foreign on ancient language, as well as comparative sources, ignoring the aesthetics of uh, work together. Worker together. Archetypal, uh, the word archetypal has been taken from Greek archi, which is beginning, and typos, which is a important, a type of analytical theory that interprets a text by focusing on recurring myths and archetypes in the narrative, symbols, images, and characters, character types in literary work. 
cultural studies believes that we cannot read cultural artifacts only within the aesthetic realm rather they must be studies within the social and material perspective for example a novel must be read not only within the gen genre convictions but the history of the novel but also in terms of the publishing industry and the aim of cultural studies is the study of culture phenomena in various societies cultural studies often concentrate on how a particular phenomena relates to matter of ideology nationality ethnicity etc New historicism as a literary based on the ideas of literature should be the study and interpretation within the context of both history and of the author and the history of the critic as well. In this theory the theme and meaning of literature are not universal and cannot be derived from the text alone. Postcolonialism is a lens through which we study literature that is set in the colonized countries or deals with post-colonial issues. It focuses on third world countries of Africa, Asia, Australia and New Zealand. Postcolonial literature are the results of the interaction between imperial cultural and complex of indigenous cultural practices. It is also used to analyze the text and other cultural discourses that emerged after the end of the colonial period. Gender studies is the study of lesbian, gay, and queer theory emerged in the early of 1990s. Gender studies is dedicated to the study of feminine, masculine, and LGBT identities. Uh, gender studies and queer theory explores issues of sexuality, power, and marginalization, population, woman as other, in literature and culture. New aestheticism is a literary and artistic movement in the uh, 18th and 19th century that focuses on importance of beauty. Aestheticism centered on the aesthetic values of art, music, writing and other creative pursuits over their practical value. Beauty was the most important feature of these works. For example, John Keats a thing of beauty is a joy forever is a finest example of aestheticism. Care theory is the lens I use to explore the challenges how scholars, activists, artists, sex, and the media repress gender and sex-based binaries, and its goal is to undo hierarchies and fight social inequalities. Theoretical approach would question assumptions about what is normal. It explores how gender and sexual identities are constructed and performed. Feminism is a theory of women's rights and a stylistic is the study of textual meaning that came into 19th and early 20th century. Russian formalist approach in 1909, Charles Pellet proposed a stylistic as the distinct academic discipline. Stylistic is a discipline that studies the ways in which language is used. It is a discipline that studies the styles of language in use. Pragmatic theory is the theory of effect, offers us the theory of meaning, a theory of truth of knowledge, and the theory of reality. It concerns with the ethical impact that any literary text has upon the readers. It focuses in the way a literary work creating a beauty on the reader's mind. Therefore, the principle to judge is the success of literary work in delivering its aim. Thank you so much.